Hello there. Today is another day, or I guess I should say night, of cooking with Andrea. Hello. First things first though, I need to make some tea. It's already done brewing. Apparently they call it the Pax Pox. And uh, Alex got it right after Pax and me and the bear got it just like the past couple of days. I don't have it that bad, but still it's better safe than sorry. That's for sure. Anyway, so this is just homemade tea. It's just like a tablespoon of grated, real grated ginger, tablespoon of, a couple tablespoons of lemon juice, and then you add a tablespoon of honey after it's been steeping for 10 minutes. Technically, you're not supposed to add honey to hot stuff, but it's, it's not that hot. It's like lukewarm at this point. But it'll be super delicious once I add the honey. Anyways, I'm just gonna do that and then we will get started. Alright. So, ignore, ignore the mess. I haven't cleaned up yet after a day of, a day of the baby. And I'm sorry if the camera's like all over the place. I have no idea how he does this. It's just like, it's quite heavy actually. Anyways, have some of my tea. Don't mind my hair. I had to put the baby to sleep and I was like laying on it funny for about 20 minutes. Anyways, so I'm going to show you all. Boop, 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 boop. Whoop, try not to knock over my cup. Maybe let's not do things right left handed. Alex can cut this out or he can leave it, you know, if y'all want to get motion sickness. Okay, what we're making today is, I told you about this Guys, if it ever focuses, there you go. It's called the Bomb Chili. Link will be in the description. It's like super duper simple, and it's actually really easy to make, but it um, uh, is cut quite time intensive for cutting the vegetables. Anyways, it's just two pounds of ground meat, which it will eventually put two pounds of ground meat, two pounds of whatever vegetables that you want. I always do zucchini, mushrooms, and red peppers, and today I'm also going to, and I usually, and I add onions and garlic, and today I am also going to add carrots. Um, two cans of tomato paste, one can of diced tomatoes, four cups of broth, which is can be any broth you want, but I find that chicken broth is the best. I'm using my homemade. Uh, one tablespoon of dark cocoa powder, now that is actually the magical ingredient to this. Cocoa powder somehow transforms chili from something delicious to something fucking amazing. Okay, and then there's a quarter cup chili powder, and then you can add some cayenne to taste, which I won't be because our baby needs to eat it. Anyways, it's super simple. We're just going to cut some vegetables. Oh, I took some... I have a lot of homemade broth. I store them in bulk barn containers because they are perfect. This is... Four cups. I have a couple of these. I separate them into four cups just for chili and just for soup. Anyways, that has been out for a bit, so it's a bit liquidy, but it's perfect because we need it for. We're actually going to make the chili for a crock pot tomorrow, but we are going to do all the prep tonight. So that's ready to go. Let's actually close that. Okay, so I got my, my mushrooms. Maybe the camera will focus on it. It's bad lighting. I'm sorry, guys. It's hard to see. Maybe this will help. No, that light is burnt out. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, like I said last time, I just got a damp paper towel. Whoop. And I'm just cleaning these off. Now, the reason that you clean them this way, I mean, if you don't, unless you want to peel them, you do it this way because, uh, Mushrooms absorb a lot of water, like a lot. So you wanna try and keep them as dry as possible during the cleaning process. Um, I mean, technically it doesn't matter because we're just gonna boil all the ingredients in a pot, but. Sorry, a little blip there because I thought the baby woke up. Well, he did wake up. He cried and then he rolled over and fell back asleep, which good for him. That's nice. Oh, maybe he is awake. We should play a game. We should play how many times is the baby going to wake up while I do this. Okay, y'all. Baby's back asleep. 
I've decided that I hate cutting mushrooms, so today we're gonna try the food processor and see if it, you know, turns out. What am I doing? I'm not even looking through the screen and I can't figure out how to put the lid on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's chop. Okay. Actually, that's not half bad. They're not as even if I dice them, but dang, that's awesome. That was so fast. I'm never not doing it that way. Who cares if they get small? It's chilly. Everything's supposed to be smushed up. Right? Maybe we'll do the carrots this way too. Mmm, yeah. Look at that. Delicious mushrooms. Those are going to be so good. Okay, so I decided I'm going to do the carrots. So I put in the attachment for a round blade. It's a shredder. I'm just going to do small shreds, I think. And then just do like very small, tiny carrot bits. Kind of like hash, but. <laughs> I like to call these the snacking bits. I don't know. Carrots. Carrots are like pretty sweet, but like when you put them in stuff like chili, it just like takes over whatever the major flavor is. So that's good at least. Because it'd be weird if it was carrot flavor and chili. Chop some onions. Here we go, into the bowl. Normally I wouldn't cut up an onion ahead of time and leave it in the fridge or anything, but I mean it's going to be covered so hopefully it doesn't like suck up any, I don't know, illness. And even if it did, we're all pretty ill right now anyways. Alright, I got a bunch of derpy looking red peppers. We're going to cut those. Alright, now that we're done with the red peppers, let's give this zucchini a chop. Oh, no, no, no. The more tired I get of chopping, the thicker the slices of zucchini get. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not being graded on how pretty this is going to look. I'm being rated on how freaking delicious it's gonna be. I think we're also gonna attempt to make like homemade chili fries. We're gonna have chili tomorrow, just regular chili. And then we're gonna do, the next day I'm gonna make homemade french fries. Like bake them though, I think. I don't know, I'm too scared to attempt homemade deep fried. First of all, because any oil that is paleo friendly is super duper expensive, so you can't, deep fry things traditionally by like engulfing them in a huge pot. You have to do it like in a shallow deep fry. I don't know if that works for french fries. I don't know. I've never made them before. So I'm hoping that it's like super delicious. I'm sure it will be because every time I have chili fries, I'm just like, yes, why don't I have this more often in my life? And then I'm like, all right, because this is totally cooked in trans fats and I'm going to be so sick later. Most of the time it's worth it. It's worth it if you go smokes poutine down in Winnipeg. Not that I've ever gotten their, whoop, their chili poutine or nothing. I always get bacon poutine because I'm, you know, I like bacon. Actually, that'd be good for breakfast. I don't even know why I'm making such a big chili. I'm not even really hungry. I made uh, scallop potatoes today. So I was, I don't know, craving them, and a good scallop potato is totally delicious. Not quite paleo, because there's all that, you know, cheese and milk and things. But, uh, ever since I had the baby, I haven't been lactose intolerant anymore. I don't know why, but I'm pretty thrilled. Anyways, so I made awesome scallop potatoes today. They're amazing. But I also made, like, chicken and broccoli. And, uh, neither of us could, like, eat that much. I tried, because man, those potatoes were good. But like, 
I think the baby ate more than we did. Cause he was just like, om nom 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 nom. That kid eats a lot. Like I'm already at the, he's nine months old. And he's already at the point where I'm starting to like cook extra portions of vegetables for him. He doesn't eat tons of meat yet. He like likes some of it, but he really prefers vegetables. He loves zucchini. Zucchini! If I fry up some zucchini in a pan, man, that kid's in heaven. He'll just nom those until he's like almost barfing. That kid is crazy. Or bananas. He'll eat, he eats whole bananas. Nine months old, is that normal? Like, Jesus. Other than that, he only gets like, like other than his food, he gets like breast milk and that's it. He doesn't get formula or nothing. I didn't know that kids ate this much food when they were this young. I mean, I suppose it's just me. I have no idea what I'm doing because I'm a first time mom. I have no idea what's normal and what's not. And then even when I do think that I have it down pat, someone's like, all kids are different. Everybody develops at their own pace, which yeah, duh, but like would be cool to have a little bit of a heads up. Okay, so the chopping's done. All right, so this is what a great big bowl of vegetables looks like. It's pretty heavy. It's supposed to be about two pounds. I think it's just under two pounds. I think it's like two or one nine or something. It does matter. I mean, I'm going to be adding a bunch of meat and stuff. It'll be delicious anyways. There's the boo bear. Napping. Well, sleeping. Anyways, so I'm going to cover this up, put it in the fridge, and I will see you guys tomorrow while we set up the crock pot. Alright, so it's 8.52 in the morning. Bear was up at least every hour last night crying and screaming because he's sick. Oh yeah, you're sick. You're a sick little bear. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah, it's funny how a little baby that was screaming all night can wake up and just be like so happy. But thank goodness for that, otherwise I'd have no will to live. Anyways, I'm just making a quick breakfast for me and the Babs. I'm just gonna scramble up some eggs, maybe throw in some spinach. Anyways, and then we are going to get started on this crock pot. I want to have it in for, it's a six hour crock pot and you can take one to two hours to, uh, what's it called, reduce the sauce because it, it's quite liquidy at first. And then it's like even better if you reduce it, just combines all flavors more and makes it like so much more thicker and delicious. Anyways, so I want to have the crock pot done by five. So, tell me math here, kid. Five, six hours for crock pot is 11. And then I think only one hour is good enough for condensing, so or reducing. So we're going to do, we're going to get in by 10. So I should get this stuff already around 9.30. So I'll see you guys in. Can I help you? What you doing? What you doing? You making a big mess, huh? That reminds me. Someone in the last video commented that he took, that Alex took forever to cook his eggs. <laughs> okay, so what I discovered, I forget who told me. I can't remember if it was TV or what. But they're like, if you burn your eggs, you're cooking them wrong. Anyways, I was like, whatever, I'm never going to take time to cook my eggs, I don't got time for that. And then I tried it, and it was amazing. So yeah, try it. Cook your eggs slow on low, and don't burn them. Like, make sure that they're still, like, they're completely cooked through, I assure you. They're, like, white, and they're solid, and the, like, the yolks are some, like, yolk is to whatever you want. But, like, if the whites are all cooked, they're just not burnt, and they're totally fucking delicious. So, well, let's try it. Check it out. Perfectly cooked, perfectly non-burnt, beautiful scrambled eggs. And they are delicious. And if you want to bump up your breakfast, add some spinach. Alex won't do it, but this little nerd will. He loves spinach. You love spinach, don't you? Yes, you do. He's like, hurry up. I'm gonna eat this bag if you don't hurry up and make breakfast. Let's go, ma'am. Let's go. All right, guys, here it is. All the ingredients for the chili. Not too bad, eh? Pretty simple. I mean, we got the most time consuming part is honestly the vegetables that you guys watched me chop. That was boring. Anyways, then all there is is the stock, the two tomato paste. Ooh, 
I should probably keep the camera looking. Uh, canned iced tomatoes, which I got all from Costco, super cheap. It's organic and it doesn't have anything. Um, I don't know, I doubt the cans are BPA free. No, but they um, don't have any like additives or anything for, or preservatives. Anyways, and this is um, chili powder. This is what I meant to say, or my, my recipe should say Dutch cocoa powder, but it says dark. I don't know why I derped there. But anyways, it's Dutch cocoa powder and just some more, some ground beef. This is 1.8 kilograms. This is technically, I think, about three pounds. But ah, whatever, you know, who, a little bit of extra meat ain't bad. All right, so just take a pot. Whatever will hold all these vegetables. Throw that bad boy on a high because we're gonna boil that stock. Stock is all thawed now. It thawed out in the fridge overnight. Ooh, I actually got some fatty bits in there for once. Usually whenever I make stock, I can never get it to gel. Oh, there's still some frozen bits. That's okay, it doesn't matter because we're gonna boil it. Yeah, got a little bit of fat in there. That just means it's even better. Set that to boil, and when it does, we'll add the vegetables, and we'll boil those for until they are tender. But until then, we will fry up this meat. Let's see if I can open this, it's usually so incredibly difficult. Oh, oh my God! Just for the camera, you saw it here, folks. Well, hopefully, it's in the frame. <laughs> Let's see, is it in the frame? Barely in the frame, but you can see it here, folks. A successful unwrap. I didn't have to cut that with scissors at all. What a glorious day. Just pop that right in there. It's pretty fatty, so you don't need to add any things to cook it with. All right, that's all melty and it's close enough to boil. Don't worry if the broth just covers it because every single vegetable in there is going to shrink a little bit. Whoa, he pulled, the baby pulled a cup off of the counter. Oh my God. Wow, how did you even reach that? Of course he's playing in it. There, nice. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna drain this. Y'all don't need to see that. Okay, so I'm just gonna cook it a little bit more and then drain it again. There wasn't much left. It's all done. If it's slightly undercooked, that's okay. It's going in the crock pot. These look pretty good, but. Check with the pepper since they're the hardest. Yeah, they're soft. Woo. They're ouch. Bernie Doom. Soft and tender. So that is done. So just take that off the heat. <laughs> Baby's on the balcony. Zelda won't let him go where he wants to go. She licks him away from her spots. Okay, so weird angle. Here's the crock pot. This is a huge one. I don't remember how many quarts. I think I mentioned that earlier. No idea. Just pour that in. And just pour all the vegetables in. Oh yeah, I'm done. What you doing? You running inside and outside? He sure is. There we go. Yeah, you mix it all together. See, once you get the vegetables in there, it doesn't look like there's a ton of meat, but there is. There's lots of everything. It's delicious. Okay, so first, I'm gonna put in all these tomatoes, these tomatoes. So, I'm 
Okay, now you can get your crock pot started. Mine's gonna go on low. And uh, just to like start combining all this makes it easier to stir. And then I won't have to open it later. Because every time you open the crock pot, I think you have to add another half hour of cooking time. It might just be for low, but who knows. Okay. One tablespoon. And give it a generous tablespoon. I think I also gave it a generous quarter cup of chili powder, so it might actually be a third cup. Um, and like I said before, this actually calls for cayenne, but Alex is just gonna add his separately when he eats his later because we haven't given the bear a ton of spicy food yet. Oh, see, so look at how the, you're like, oh, that's really a red chili. And then you add that and it looks like this. And then it, it starts going darker. And then as it cooks, it gets really dark and it gets like so delicious. It's amazing. But I mean, seriously, how simple was that? Just like two spices, a bunch of tedious chopping. You know, there's some prep, and I, the person who wrote this recipe has one of those Ninja 3-in-1s, which I obviously don't have and I'm not promoting, but apparently they are like any crock pot where you can like use it as like a frying pan or like boil stuff, and then a crock pot, that's awesome, because she just did it all in one pot. I think she got lean ground beef and just like, bam, you know, so how perfect is that all one pot? That's beautiful. Okay, so that's all beautifully stirred. Get that carrot out of there. And I do recommend a crock pot with this type of lid. Or like an auto stirring lid, especially if you make a lot of crock pots while you're not home. Those sound amazing. And then you don't have to open them to stir them. Check it out! Nice! Okay, so it's 9.53. So we got in just in time. So at 4 o'clock, we will come and give her a stir and open it up and let it reduce for an hour or maybe more. I gave myself some wiggle room. I don't even know what Alex is doing today. What is it, Wednesday? So he's just gonna be busy at six, I think. Anyways, we can probably will be able to eat together. So when it's all done, I will come back and I will show you guys the final result. And it is super duper tasty and bound to impress your parents-in-law. Okay, so it is five o'clock. And I'm pretty sure that I said that I was gonna open up the crock pot at four, but I had a dentist appointment and it was longer than I expected. So I have not done that yet, but that's okay. Who's laughing? <laughs> okay, anyways, so check it out. It's like so much darker now. Check it out. Okay, so we're gonna open it up. Ooh, steamed it up nice and hot nice and hot all right so we'll give it a stir look at that how much darker it is now eh but see how quite it's quite liquidy still and this can get really what are you doing child hello anyways this can get quite a bit more thick so we are going to leave it open until six o'clock and then we will add some salt and pepper to taste and it will be super delicious. Hi. Okay, so Alex has to stream, so it's only 5.40, but I'm going to finish this, or I'm going to, we're gonna eat right away. But I just wanna show you how much of a difference 40 minutes makes. Like, that was the line basically right there where it was before, and it's already condensed this much. Like, look at how much more thicker and delicious and beautiful that is. So there's a little bit of liquid. So while we eat, I'm just gonna leave it open again to condense some more, and then everything that we eat tomorrow is gonna be even more amazing, because for some reason, chili's always better the next day. Anyways, that was the bomb paleo chili. No beans, tons of flavor, super delicious. Uh, link will be in the description. And uh, if you guys try it, you should let us know and let us know if you liked it. All right, take it easy. Are you ready to have your first bite of chili, my little love? Yeah? Whoa! 
Is it delicious? I think it's a hit. Om nom 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 nom.